How's it going guys? It's Kevin from Subi Speed and it's yet again time for another new products video. If you guys haven't already done so, be sure to click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up to show your support. Also, if you are wondering what new products are available for your car, you can just head on over to our website, hit that new products tab in the drop down menu, and there you will see a list of the most recent products we've added to the website. I wanna give you guys a quick update on what's going on around here. From today until the end of the month, we are running our stimulus sale, so you can get 12% off your order using the code STAYHOME12. Some exclusions do apply. Also, all Grim Speed and ACT products are 10% off with no code necessary. So now is a great time to pick up some products and save some money and use that extra free time you have to install them in your garage. With all that said and done, we can jump into the first product for this video, which is the SBTK Deletes Mesh Delete Kit. This goes over the 2018 Plus uh, SCI fog light bezels that don't have the fog light opening and basically cover up that mesh and clean it up. You're gonna have these paint match to the color of your car like the pictures show and even add an SCI sticker to customize and clean up that front end. As for wheels this month, we've got the new Work ZR10s in two different sizes, 18 by 9.5 plus 38 or an 18 by 8.5 plus 38. You've got four different colors to choose from. You have Glim Black, Titanium, uh, Regular Black, and Azure White. Olam has a good amount of new products this month. If you happen to have the JDM DRL bezels, they have their dry carbon fiber JDM DRL facelift covers, which again, like the SBTK deletes, go over your fog light bezel and cover up that mesh portion. So if you are looking to add some carbon fiber accents to the front of your car, these will be a nice addition for you. If you're looking to add some color to your engine bay, you can pick up the anodized engine bay fasteners available in either a black, blue, or red anodized finish. And they basically just replace your black plastic pop clips in the engine bay. Over on the sides here, we've got the OLM CS V2 style carbon fiber side skirts installed. These are quite a bit more aggressive than most others you see, especially with the winglet here, but it matches up nicely with the uh, 57 XCCs and 18 by 9.5 plus 38s we have here and the rest of the carbon fiber accents we have on the car. If we take a look inside our SCI engine bay, you'll see that we have the OLM carbon fiber ducted inner fender trim installed, but they just came out with their V2 with a couple of tweaks. It has significantly more vents. And then if we take a look on the back side, you'll see that the uh, mesh is actually already installed, glued in, and then all around the edges here, there is a soft protective foam. And then on the top edge, there's a rubber piece running all across the edge to help prevent any rubbing. If you happen to be wanting to change up that hood scoop a bit, we've got the S-Line Forged Carbon Fiber Hood Vent Extension. So instead of the normal carbon fiber weave that you're gonna see, you're gonna get the forged carbon fiber look instead. Last up for OLM, we've got something that a lot of you guys have been asking for. These are the dry carbon fiber rear door upper trim panels. Uh, since we have the fronts, we've got a bunch of requests asking for the rears to match. So these just basically go over the top portion of your door card and give you a nice carbon fiber accent in the interior. Also installed in our SCI engine bay is the Compressive Tuning Air Shield Intercooler Protector. It's available in either a red or black finish. If you guys haven't seen the install video for this, I will link it up above. But this is not only a great way to protect those thin metal fins in the intercooler, but it's a great engine bay dress up part as well. New exhaust in this month is the Borla S-Type Catback Exhaust. It's made out of 304 stainless steel. It's three inch piping that leads to dual two and a quarter inch piping that ends with ceramic black exhaust tips. So if you are wanting to improve your exhaust tone, here's another option for you. And finally, we get to these, which some of you guys may or may not have already seen. These are the new Tomei headers they just released. They have both an equal length and unequal length. Obviously, these are the unequal length. And yes, these are for the WRX FA20. They come with all the gaskets needed for the install. And if we do a quick comparison between these and the OEM, the OEM headers actually have multiple restrictions that reduce airflow and efficiency, mainly right after the engine port and the collector. And these actually have 45 millimeter piping all the way through with a turbo side 42 millimeter port versus the 33 millimeter of the OEM. They've got a stepless flange and they come with Titan exhaust wraps if you choose to wrap your headers. Now I know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to install this on our car and get you guys some exhaust clips. So if you are one of those people, give this video a like and I will hop on that as soon as I'm done with this video and get you guys some exhaust clips so you know how they sound. 
Last up, we have the Varus Engineering Street Rear Spat Kit. It has a strong, durable plastic construction, includes all the hardware you need, and is made right here in the US. And that pretty much rounds it up for new products this month. I will leave all the links down in the description. If you guys have any questions or video suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget that we are currently running that 12% off stimulus sale using the code STAYHOME12, and I'll see you guys next time.